Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the most powerful fold in the world. And I found some of the best tips, tricks, and hidden features that are just gonna bend your mind. Let's go. So the Fold 5 is by far the best phone when it comes to multitasking. And there's actually a lot of hidden features and multitasking tricks to the inside screen. For example, if you head into the gallery and select a couple of different pics, if you select and hold down then drag, you can open another app like WhatsApp with your thumb, drop those pictures directly into a chat, click send, and it's literally as easy as that. This also works in split screen mode, so you can respond to messages with text using like ChatGPT, for example, by just dragging and dropping. Nice. Within Chrome, if you click and hold down on any link, you'll notice this open in new window. As soon as you tap on that, it opens the link in a split screen window and now you can easily browse both sides. Plus, they also each have their own set of tabs. Speaking of split screens, oftentimes apps like Netflix or just general games will not actually work in a split screen mode, but you can change that by going into settings, then down to advanced features, and within here, tap on labs, then you'll see this option multi-window for all apps. And with this turned on, it forces both apps to work alongside each other, so you can have the best of both applications, and this is just ridiculously cool. Within those same settings, also make sure to turn on full screen in split screen view, because what this does is hides the taskbar as well as the status bar, and lets your split screen applications take up the entire screen. I mean, no one does multitasking better than Samsung, and the Fold is literally the best at it. Okay, so there's a few really nifty gestures you just have to know. And the first one is found inside advanced features, then multi-window called swipe for split screen. Now what happens is anytime you're in an application, all you have to do is swipe up with two fingers and that app instantly opens in split screen mode. The cool thing is the app will always open towards the side you swipe. So this works for left and right. Then you know how you can put your palm over the cover screen to quickly lock it? Well, if you head into advanced features, then motion and gestures right over here, you'll see the option palm touch to turn off screen. Now you can do the same gesture on the main screen to lock your phone and this is not actually on by default. But what really makes the Fold the best is you can use it with one of these. So by now you guys might be familiar with everything the S Pen can do, like writing in search bars, selecting any text anywhere to quickly copy, and even writing inside your keyboard. But there are a few things you can do with it, especially if you go inside the Galaxy Store and download this app, good luck. I definitely suggest you guys get this app because later on, I'll show you a ton of other things you can do with it outside of the S Pen. But for now, if you open it up and go inside this section called Pentastic, scroll to the bottom, you'll find this really cool double tap shortcut. And here's where you can choose exactly which app you'd like to open when you double tap the screen. So now whenever I hold down on the S Pen button and double tap the screen, it instantly opens WhatsApp. And this works with absolutely any application and it is just so convenient. But what really makes the S Pen so good is it was actually made in collaboration with Wacom, the guys who make the best artist tablets in the world. So besides using the S Pen in the Notes application, you can take so much more advantage of the S Pen and use it inside apps like Sketchbook. It's totally free to use and it really reminds me of Procreate for the iPad, so you can go absolutely crazy and create some really wild and unique artwork with it. And remember, this is all just on a phone. So now to move on to customizing your fold and giving it a unique look, a lot of people actually have no idea that the inside screen has just as much customization as the cover screen. So there's a bunch of different designs to choose from, but one of my favorite things has got to be using a video for the lock screen background. It just gives your setup that little extra edge. And once you've done that, there's a ton more customization you can do, like changing the clock style and font, the way notifications appear, so whether you want extra detail or just little icons, and even the app shortcuts can be changed to just about any application. There's even a section where you can put your contact details, but I like to fill it with a cool quote. And remember, this is all completely different and separate to what you can style on the cover screen. But to really take customization up a notch, if you head back into Good Luck and select Lock Star, here you can turn on extra lock screen elements. So if you tap on your lock screen and tap again, you'll see an option to add widgets. So not only can you have those on your homepage, but now also on your lock screen. So once you've added the widgets, you can adjust extra settings 
settings, but then you can also resize it and reposition it for the perfect lock screen layout. You can get so many different looks and setups, especially if you use an animated wallpaper. Also, if you guys enjoy these wallpapers, I'll have them linked down below for you where you can go and download them. But if you prefer to have a more uniform look across your entire phone, you could customize and design everything on the cover screen, then open up the fold, tap and hold down, open up wallpaper settings, and in here, you can actually turn on cover screen mirroring. That way, anything you do on the cover screen will be mirrored to your inside screen. So whether that's your wallpaper, to applications, and even widgets, everything will be copied inside. But believe it or not, there's still a few more things we can do to make the setup even better. One of my favorite customization features on Samsung phones is found within a contact under more. Within here, you'll find the option edit call background. And when you tap on that, you can choose any image or video from your gallery to display when they call. The other cool thing is you can set an individual one for each of your contacts or just have a main call background for everyone. So now whenever that specific contact calls you, you'll quick and easily recognize it by that beautiful custom call background. Something else you gotta do under the notification settings is select the brief style, then tap on edge screen lighting and go crazy. You can customize the heck out of this and get some really awesome pop-up message designs that just put a cherry on top of your entire setup. And it also just makes texting a lot of fun. But now let me show you a few neat tricks you can do with the cameras. Now, one of the best things about the Fold is taking advantage of this icon, because with this, you can use the main 50 meg camera for taking your selfies, which of course will be super high quality. But there's actually a really neat hidden feature inside GoodLock under Camera Assistant called Timer Multi-Photo. And with this, you can actually choose how many pictures you'd like to take and how many second intervals between each photo. Then just turn on the timer, otherwise this won't actually work. And then you are good to go to just place your Fold down, show the palm gesture, and automatically it'll snap all your pics in perfect timing like magic. Then another really useful trick is within the capture view icon because with this you can view all the pics you just took but if you want to take more pics and zoom in it actually turns into a view assistant so you can easily find what you're trying to zoom in on. Neat! <laughs> Okay, so there are a few settings that every Fold owner has just gotta know. And the first one is found within display settings called taskbar. Here you'll find a really convenient new feature to choose exactly how many apps to show in the recent section of the taskbar, which as you can imagine, makes multitasking even better because you can easily switch between apps in seconds. Back inside display settings, you'll also find this feature you gotta turn on called continue apps on cover screen. And I'd suggest you turn it on for all apps because now anytime you're busy with an app like YouTube, for example, you can just fold it closed and continue using the same app on the cover screen. Now that is nifty. <laughs> and another must change setting under display is motion smoothness. By default, it's on standard, but make sure you go and switch it to adaptive. This makes the fold screen buttery smooth, but just keep in mind, it does drain just a bit more battery. Now, flex mode is a big part of using the Fold, and one of the top features you have to turn on is flex panel, which you can find just under advanced features, the labs. Once you've turned that on, make sure you turn it on for all applications, because now, anytime you open an app, like the gallery, for example, and place the Fold into flex mode, the flex panel appears, which makes it so much easier to scroll through images and videos, zoom in on them, or even edit them. And of course, because you turned it on for all apps, this is not just limited to the gallery. Even apps like Chrome can easily be navigated using the flex panel, which can actually be pretty useful to have on the side while you're working. Nifty. And if you do ever want to quickly remove it, instead of going all the way back into settings, you can just tap this icon to minimize it and tap again to bring up the panel. I also love that you can quick and easily adjust so many settings on here, like the volume, for example, and even the screen brightness. This really is just so convenient. Honestly, flex mode kind of turns this into a tiny laptop, but there is one more way to really turn this into a proper computer. 
Now, to turn your Fold 5 into a computer, all you need is one of these USB-C to HDMI adapters that you can pretty much pick up off of Amazon. And a monitor like this, or even just a TV. Then what you gotta do is connect the HDMI adapter to your screen, as well as connect it to your Fold, and some TVs or screens will work wirelessly, but if it doesn't, swipe down into your quick settings, tap on DeX, and bam, your Fold is practically turned into a fully functioning computer. By tapping this icon, it turns your Fold into one massive touchpad, which you can use to navigate and it's surprisingly quick and responsive to use. But if you want to take it to the next level, you can easily connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to really complete the setup and make it much easier to navigate than using your phone as a touchpad. But what's even crazier is you can connect a game controller to it and play just about any game while watching something else like YouTube or Netflix on the fold. Obviously, you can do a ton of other things with this setup, like working on documents for work or school, or even editing some content. And because this has the fastest Android processor in the world, it can literally do almost anything just like a regular computer. Absolutely bonkers. On to some bonus secrets. If you head back into Good Luck and into Quick Star, you'll find this little hidden setting called Open Quick Panel Directly. Just turn this on because what it does is it splits your screen in half so that when you swipe down on the right hand side, you go straight into Quick Settings, and when you swipe down on the left side, you see your notifications. Another little secret inside the internet app is if you tap and hold onto an image, then select clip subject from background, check it out, your fold automatically crops the photo from the background, which you can save or automatically drop into a chat and send to a friend. And you know when you take a screenshot by mistake and you go to delete it, but there's just no delete button for some reason? Well, if you head back into good luck, then back into nice shot, here you will find this neat little secret where you can toggle on add delete button and now whenever you take a screenshot you can just delete it. But if you want to see even more secret Samsung features then I suggest you subscribe because Samsung's about to drop their new One UI update and I have a feeling it's gonna be a big one. Toodles!